Hi everybody, it's Joni here at Joni's Journals, and I've come along, it's a little bit late on a Saturday, um, but I've come along, my husband and my daughter have gone out shopping, and what I wanted to do was show you Tracy Fox's new kit. Um, I printed out only a couple of pages because I printed out bunches last night that I've already been playing with. Um, it's her Creep On playing cards, and these are her playing cards for Halloween. And as you can see, you get eight cards on each sheet of paper, and you get a total of eight sheets of paper. They come in black, and they come in, I guess you could call it cream. And you do end up with a total of 64 cards. It's not a full deck. Um, it's not meant to be. It's more for enjoying and making things with. Um, along with the 64 cards, the eight sheets of cards, you get six sheets of backgrounds. And what I've done is I printed out uh, on my eight and a half by 11 and I picked fill entire sheet. I printed out the orange. You get the orange with a black uh, filigree. I don't know if that's what you call it. And you get the orange with a white filigree. You get a purple with a black filigree and with a white filigree and you get a green with a black filigree and a white filigree so since i happen to absolutely adore making for halloween i've been having a blast and i've made a tag booklet which is what we're going to work on today the cards are on both sides and i've also made a ring bound journal, which if I can get to it, we are going to complete that on video tomorrow. I've also got a couple of ideas, other ideas brewing, um, but at the present time, I'm working out some of the, um, shall we say, accoutrements that go with it. But um, I tried to make a box for the cards and I completely messed it up. So <laughs> I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see if I can do that um, again and get it to work this time. So what we've got here is I basically I printed out the cards and they are, let me find the measurements so I don't steer you wrong. The cards themselves are two and a quarter inches across by three and a quarter inches down. And what I've done is I printed out my printed backgrounds and I have created cards that are four inches by three inches. So four inches down and three inches across. And I made a little tag booklet with it. I rounded my corners and I inked all the edges in black. And I've been stumbling across it all day because I keep forgetting to not glue my cards together before I glue my attachments on. So you can see that what I've also done is the way that I cut the cards, um, and maybe I'll do that in the other video, is I cut them first, the eight and a half inch side, I cut a four inch piece and a four inch piece, which left me with a half inch piece. And then out of those four inch strips, I made three inch cards. So that left with a little tiny strip like this. And I took the larger piece that was originally my scrap and I made a fold out of it. I took it, it's a total of two inches across. I'm gonna measure it on my mat. And I scored each piece at one inch and I folded them in half and I created, um, I guess you could call them the page tabs or I'm calling them the connecting pieces for my little flip journal. And I ink those in black as well on both sides because one side is white unless you print your um, printed sheets double-sided. I printed mine one-sided. And that's how I came up with these little flips that will hold our cards together. So what I've been doing is I've been doing them in order. 
I've been doing a dark background and a light background with the, and by light, I mean the one that has the filigree printed in white. And then the dark is the filigree printed in black. And so on either, on each side of my little card book, I've done a dark card, a white card, a dark card, a white card, and a dark card. That's the backgrounds. My little playing cards, I've attached however I feel it matches the background best. So that's why you'll see that, well, in this case, it ended up to be a light playing card, a dark, a light, a, oh, and two darks at the end. I liked the way this one matched this background better than the way the lighter background matched it. And we attach them. And how we attach them is, I've already set up two cards for us. We take the card and we put a little glue on it. And we attach the edge of the card to the edge of the tab. Okay. And I've been inching my cards up to just a smidge outside of the center of the little folded tab. And then I straighten them out like so to create my little fold. So see, we have our little fold like that. And then on the other side, I attach the tab for the card that's going to go next to it. So in other words, you can't glue your two cards together until you glue your two tabs on, okay? because otherwise you're not going to be able to create your little book. So I'm just going to basically do what I'm saying and perhaps you'll understand it a little bit better. So then what I do is I take my other tab that I have for my other side and I glue it to the edge of the card Hmm, did I want the dark background showing? No, I actually wanted the light background showing. So let's just do that again. Okay, and I wanna make sure my pattern is running in the right direction. All right, let's do this and we'll glue our card to our tab. Make sure we get it right. Okay, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we're going to glue our card to the other side of our tab, or glue the other side of our card to the other tab. And we're gonna make sure that it's straight. And let me fold my little book up first. That might make it easier. I'm gonna make sure that it's straight on there. And it might be a little bit easier for you to see with the white background. See how I just barely go to the seam so that I give it enough room to bend. Okay, so now we have our card attached to our book, and then we have our tab prepared to attach our other card, okay, on the other end. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to attach my little card for the other side of the book, to the back of the card we just attached to the book. Okay, so we have it like this. Now we attach this card just barely, like I said again, to the edge of the tab, like so. And we try to make it a little bit straight. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me pull it forward. And you can also, if you want, you can look, I don't know if you can really see, but you can look on this little seam and make sure that this back card is attaching evenly to the front card, like so, so that you have it, so that they're evenly spaced. Okay, so we've done that. So now we have our little fold out and that's the card we just attached. 
Now, what we're also going to do is we are going to attach our end piece. And what I've done to the cards is I've taken them and I've rounded the edges with my little rounder. I picked the smallest round, um, rounding corner rounder part. I have a four, a seven, and a 10. And what I've chosen is the four. And so I'm rounding the edges. Did I round that one? Yes. And I'm going to round the edge on my background card, like so. And you'll notice my glue is drying on the tab that I messed up, but that's okay. All right, and let's do this one while we have the rounder out. This is going to be our back of this card. And you'll notice I'm using opposites. I use the black and the white. That's what I meant by the dark and the light backgrounds. And let's just do the corners on this card. And then all our corners will be done. Okay. And then what I've been doing is I'm inking them black around the edges. And so I'm going to ink everything. I'm going to ink around here. And I've been doing the black because my cutting wasn't perfect. And you can see some of the white is still on my card. But that's okay. We can cover it all up with the ink. And if you feel like you can still see white through yours, unless you are a perfect cutter, which I am not, um, you can always give it a little bit of a darker coat. Okay. So let's ink this one. And I've been being very anal about this. I've been making sure that my filigree is pointing in the same direction on each of my cards and that I'm getting a dark card and a light card um, on the proper sides of my little tab book. When I started the tab book, I put the tabs, again, like I did here on this one, I put the tabs in the wrong way and I had to tear my cards apart and uh, start again because I didn't put them in the right direction. They were both facing the same way and that really wasn't the look I was going for. Um, if I make another one of these, which I probably will, I think I'm going to print my background on both sides of the card. And this way I won't have the white showing through, but this is okay for me. I'm just going to probably use it as a table decoration um, when I set up my Halloween decor uh, next month. I don't like to overwhelm the family too much. I do have a little ceramic Christmas tree that I leave out all year round. And so when the time of year comes that I'm setting up my Halloween <laughs> decorations, my holidays are kind of competing with each other. <laughs> all right. Okay. So now let's take our little card. Remember it's two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And let's try to get our glue to work and put a little bit around and do a little cross angle there. Make sure our filigree is pointing up and let's attach our little card to our background like so and make sure it's straight. Like I said, my cutting was not the best. I was doing this at midnight last night because I just couldn't wait to play with the kit after I had gotten it. I said, oh, I got to try this. And then this morning, um, I started with my little uh, tag booklet that we're working on right now. And I also started working on the ring binder journal, which I'm going to try to do a video. Maybe tonight, my daughter's going out and my husband's usually quiet if he's on his own. But the two of them are like chatty Cathy's. I don't know if you know what that is, but that was a little doll that they had that was a talking doll. You pulled a string on her backside and um, she would talk to you. Okay, there's our cards done. All right, so now, as you can see, this is the back and or the front of the cards, depending on the little tag book, depending on which you prefer. I am going to take 
you see my last card is a dark background. I am going to take, this is going to be my final page. I planned it out so that I had the spooky monsters um, in green on each end of the book. So this is going to be the end of my book. So we want to take, we have a dark background, so we want a light background. And we want to glue this card down to this tab, like so. And because this is our end, we're only gluing uh, one side because we're going to glue our cards together and finish our book. So we're going to glue our card down just a little bit away from the edge. If yours comes out a little lopsided, it's okay. Mine's a little lopsided. No one will notice if you're using it for a decoration because people will be so fascinated by what you've made that they're really not gonna pay attention. Okay, and see, now we have our dark background against our light background on this side. Let me put a little glue. Now this, I'm going to glue the entire card. I'm gonna put glue across the back of the whole thing because as I said, this is the last page in our tag book. And so we're going to glue it to our little connecting tab and we're going to glue it to its partner card on the back. Let me move this up a little so you can see. So I'm lining up the edges of both of my cards and I'm trying to get that straight. And we're gonna squeeze that together so that we have that. Okay, so now our little book is done. And we have, this is one side. Oh, I just realized I have the same character on the same side. Oh, well, that's okay. See, he comes in dark and light. I like him, so it doesn't really matter much. So that's one side. And then we'll close it all up. And we'll turn it over. And that's our other side. So see, it's a double-sided little tag journal and ours is let's see how many how many pages did we make we made one two three four five six and seven so yeah we have a little seven page tag booklet and it'll stand up like this if you want to it's it's um like an accordion folio or an accordion book as well and that can stand like that or you can lay it down for people to go oh how pro wow look at this <laughs> and those just be astonished at how wonderful it is and see we have my favorite monsters on both sides so yeah there you go i hope i explained it to you well enough once again i'll just go over the measurements the Playing cards themselves are two and a quarter by three and a quarter. I made four inch by three inch cards out of the backgrounds and they looked like this. Let me see if I can grab one. Okay. And then I made my little um, tabs. I don't know what else to call them, tabs, tags. And I inked all of those and I glued the cards to both sides like that and I created my little journal or my little folio okay so there you go I hope you liked that and I hope you'll go over and take a look at the kit like I said it's really really cute and see you can see my monsters that's why I printed out these pages in particular again for you guys to look at because I love these guys they're pretty stinking awesome and I like him too. He reminds me of A Nightmare Before Christmas. And I like that. And you get all these backgrounds. So yeah, go over and check it out. It's an awesome kit. And I will, you'll see me tomorrow, but I'll probably make it tonight. I am going to come back and I'm going to teach you how I made the little ring bound journal. Okay, and like I said, I'm working on um, 
something else with the cards, making an actual deck of cards, but I have to create a box properly. And so, yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you soon. Hugs and love, and I would like to give a shout out. If you like the little cards, um, my friend Donna uh, is on YouTube as well, and she makes a lot of little ATC cards using stamps, and um, she colors them in with, uh, I believe she uses Copic markers, and she does a lot of work with um, making her own little things with her stamps and, and coloring. So I'm going to link her, and if you'll go over and check her out, uh, she makes she just made an adorable journal last night using some paper with bees on it, and it's really cute. So go over and check her out, and I will see you soon. Hugs. Don't remember, uh, remember <laughs> don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.